The US has decided to develop means to intercept boost glide vehicles. The Pentagon has assigned the project to DARPA. This comes after America's Government Accountability Office GAO, report have stated that the US currently lacks the defenses required to protect against the latest crop of hypersonic weapons being developed by China and Russia. The report states, China and Russia are pursuing hypersonic weapons because their speed, altitude and maneuverability may defeat most missile defense systems, and they may be used to improve long-range conventional and nuclear strike capabilities. There are no existing countermeasures. Viewers can go through the report from the link given in the description section below. In its response to the GAO, the Department of Defense described the report as an accurate although sobering macro picture of how the U.S. stands in the world against emerging threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. intends to intercept Russian and Chinese hypersonic weapons. Let's get started. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed speeds of Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Hypersonic weapons as of today can be broadly categorized into two types. First is the hypersonic cruise missile. These use a scramjet engine. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Ramjet engine can power flight to supersonic speeds, but scramjet can enable the missile to reach hypersonic speeds. These engines have no moving parts, like the compressors and turbines used in the turbofan engines found on conventional jet planes. They rely on the huge pressures created by fast airflow into the engine to ignite fuel and generate thrust. Second is the hypersonic glide vehicle. HGV. In this method, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere and then glides back attaining hypersonic speed and can be maneuvered. It must be noted that traditional ballistic missiles like American Minuteman III, Russian Sarmat or Indian Agni missiles all travel at hypersonic speeds, but they follow a predictable ballistic trajectory and can't maneuver mid-course. China is developing a hypersonic glide vehicle named Starry Sky 2. It's currently in prototype phase. Russia has said that it's deployed hypersonic cruise missile Kinzhal and is currently testing hypersonic glide vehicle named Avangard. To know about these weapons, viewers can check the video on the above card. The DARPA project, named as Glide Breaker, will concentrate on intercepting hypersonic glide vehicle like Starry Sky 2 and Avangard. Since there's no way to defend against hypersonic weapons, they pose a major challenge. These weapons could be used to target American bases around the world as well as the U.S. Navy aircraft carriers. Hypersonic weapons, because of their speed, have huge kinetic energy apart from the destructive force of the explosive carried by them. This means these weapons could penetrate ICBM silos with even conventional warhead. ICBM silos are generally not vulnerable to anything apart from nukes. So hypersonic weapons are not only tactically dangerous, but also pose a strategic challenge. In simple terms, intercepting a hypersonic glide vehicle is like hitting a bullet with another bullet when the incoming bullet is capable of evasive maneuver. Current ICBMs attain hypersonic velocities, but they follow a parabolic path and though difficult, the path can be predicted. But hypersonic glide vehicle will be able to make maneuvers, so tracking and predicting their path will be harder. As can be clearly gauged, this is a highly complex task to accomplish. Of the current crop of air defense system available to the US, THAAD could kill hypersonic glide vehicle in some situations. 
Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, is a United States Army anti-ballistic missile system which is designed to shoot down short, medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. THAAD uses a hit-to-kill approach, that is the missile carries no warheads but relies on the kinetic energy of impact to destroy the incoming missile. The THAAD system is being designed, built and integrated by Lockheed Martin Space Systems acting as prime contractor. Key subcontractors include Raytheon, Boeing, Aerojet, Honeywell and BAE Systems to name a few. A THAAD battery consists of at least six launcher vehicles, each equipped with eight missiles, with two mobile tactical operation centers TOCs, and the NTPY-2 ground-based radar. GBR. The THAAD radar is an X-band active electronically scanned array radar developed and built by Raytheon. It has an operational range of around 200 kilometers. The missile has a speed of 8.24 Mach or 2.8 kilometers per second. The guidance system is indium anti-monide imaging coupled with infrared seeker head. The main problem with THAAD is that its point defense system designed to protect a small area. Using THAAD to defend the entire U.S. homeland will be too expensive to be practical. According to DARPA, Glidebreaker will develop an enabling technology critical for an advanced interceptor capable of defeating hypersonic vehicles. Key aspects of the Glidebreaker program are classified. Only proposals addressing the classified aspects of Glidebreaker will be eligible for funding under this broad agency announcement BAA. DARPA seeks proposals that present a credible path to a low cost, rapid demonstration of program objectives. Also, Glidebreaker is supposed to be tested by 2020. It must be noted here that the Glidebreaker is not intended to intercept all incoming HGVs. The idea is to create doubt in the mind of a rival regarding the success of an HGV attack. Glidebreaker will be like an armor that only defends against specific bullets. The adversary won't know which HGV will get through to successfully hit a target and which will be intercepted. DARPA puts it like this. A key figure of merit is deterrence, the ability to create uncertainty for the adversary's projected probability of mission success and effective raid size. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.